I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Here you go. You see that? Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Are you guys all right? You too, you too. We're made for each other. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Who's sick? My dad, John. Are you okay, Jack? I'm Jack. Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your, um, dad. Okay. I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. Thanks. Oh God! Oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Please say that's you in there. What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a terrible, fat old man? All right. Tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Seriously? My name's John. We've met like ten times. Look, this is not important right now. Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Your dad's a little bit unwell. So I'm going to take you to school. That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, um... Well, he just cut himself shaving. A lot of blood. That's why he locked the door. Well, that explains the screaming and the crying. But does he really need to take the day off? He just needs a little longer to get ready, that's all. Is Dad going to have to go to hospital again? Don't worry. He's fine. Just... He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's okay when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He cut his throat while shaving. There's blood everywhere, apparently. So Jack took me to school instead. What? Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. You're going to be late for school, Molly. OK. OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. 
You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, uh, John's nephew. That doesn't make sense. He's an only child. You know John doesn't like opening up about that sort of stuff. Look, if you don't believe me, ask me something only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Roberta Smith. Biggest phobia? Black cats. Terribly superstitious. You're really John's nephew? I am. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Again, I really appreciate it. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Get away from me, you lunatic. Baby, it's me! It's Jack! Come any closer and I swear I'll knock you to the floor. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! I work with him. Sorry. He suffers from a terrible sleepwalking disorder. I wouldn't wake him. Could be dangerous. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh... I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, just that you're a good mentor. You know, um, you have a strong spirit, a big heart, stuff like that. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin, your favourite sport is basketball, you secretly smoke, but you never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Yeah, you go to work. Come on, Jack. I, I mean, John. Let's get you home. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't exactly plan on renting out my body to anyone this morning. I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something would have triggered this. Something that connects the two of us. Something spiritual. Or witchcraft. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. Jesus. What are they going to say at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. 
Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Charming. Okay. It's ringing. Superfab Games. Sonia speaking. Sonia, it's Jack. Not gonna be in today. I've got the shits. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. Thanks. I will. Done. Yeah, so you're safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Are you going to tell me who that was? It was your daughter's school. I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. Really? You're telling me to chill out? After that whole performance earlier? Come on! Let's go to the park, then. It feels seriously weird being you. Ugh, everything jiggles about as I move. Can you focus on the matter at hand? My daughter may have been kidnapped. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. Yeah, well, I take that at this point. That's the spirit. you're all right. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Uh, I think I'll do the parenting. Thank you very much. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? So... Something seems to have happened last night where, um, how would you describe it? Our brains have got swapped. Well, I guess that's to the point. Okay, something happened, we're not sure what, but it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body, Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Sure. Got any ideas? Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. It'll come out in the wash. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. Well, I guess I better introduce you to the John Smith range. <laughs> Show you what's in this season. <laughs> Molly, call the police. She's a smart kid. She is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? It's not so bad. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you.
Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. I thought we went over this. For all intents and purposes, you are me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? Well, for the time being, at least. Until we figure out how to get out of this situation. The more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. So what do we do? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. <laughs> <laughs>